Welcome to Drive Electric with Dominic. I'm Dominic. This is Kay. I'm Kay. <laughs> and we are driving Fisker Oceans today. Look at this. Fisker Oceans. There's a whole bunch of them. Right, so they have a little drive program going on today. So we signed up and we showed up, we drove up from Tallahassee here to Roswell, uh, New, no, Atlanta, Atlanta. Uh, Georgia, Roswell, Georgia. So we saw that Marcus Brownlee put out a video titled, this is the worst electric vehicle I've ever driven or something, words of that effect. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll have to see if that- How bad is it? Right, or how good is it? Maybe he's totally wrong. He's a tech guy, really. He's not really a car guy. Yeah. Although he has a, the new channel, Auto Focus, well, focused on autos. Go figure. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to jump in some cars and let you know how it goes. Uh, so, what's your name? Kai. Kai. Yes. I'm Dominic. Nice to meet you. All right. I'm ready to, almost ready to go. What do you want to show us first? All right. So, I always like to, um, I guess, give um, drivers like a little crash course. Um, so first I'd start by putting your foot on the brake. That's gonna cut on accessory mode. Hit it one more time and now you're ready. So you see the dash, it says ready now. Yep. Um, and so you're gonna have your shifter on the right side. So if you were to go up twice, that's how you get to reverse. Okay. Back down and once and, and that camera automatically comes on. Okay. Uh, neutral. Okay. And then back down once, that's drive. And you can see all of that displayed on your left side. Um, and then press the button on that same knob for um, park. And press the button on the same for park. Correct. All now right. Um, additionally. Lane keep unavailable. I'll try to say it carefully. Okay, we'll do that. Um, so essentially, um, we also also have the mirrors adjusted on that side. So please set that to how you know it's preferable for you. Okay, that's these bottom ones here? Yes. Okay, so left and then. Okay. Additionally, I know you're a little bit taller, so we have right here, uh, not right there, general. In the general? Yeah. And then you can adjust your steering wheel. Okay. You can use that side knob on the left. This one? Yep. Okay. Uh, to put it up uh, and down. Up and, and down. And out as well. Okay. And then to go out, how do I do it? Um, that's going to be uh, left, and left, right. And right. left and right. Oops. And on the left and right of the. Oh, okay. These little, oh, to this, to the actual, okay. And then that's this for it, right. This is for down, can we turn off the radio? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, sweet, thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, once you have that how you like, uh, also you have the uh, seats, seats all right. side there. Um, I, again, I love the amount of space. I pretend like I'm tall. Mm -hmm. So I like to think that I need all of that. But for Okay, so it does go down pretty far. I mean, so it makes a dash kind of high. So I like to be able to see over that a little bit more so I can come up a little bit and also tilt. That's my back tilt. Okay, and then bring this up. Yeah. A little bit for now. No, get comfortable because I want you to be able to experience it how you feel. Right. Are there only two controls here? Right. Two knobs, right. And... Okay. We're good. Okay. Um, I also, while we're stopped, I like to show off the Hollywood mode. This is the feature that the reason that I, I joined the company specifically. Okay. I, they asked me why Fisker and I said because it goes sideways. <laughs> I like that the infotainment system isn't connected to your like heat temperature control. Sure. I right. don't want to have to go into a menu to like, you know, set your button. So you have a little right. big space in here. Exactly. Okay. Um, you also additionally have uh, two chargers uh, here for wireless for your phone. Okay. And then also under the uh, dash, like a console space. Um, right ah, there. there's a big space in the down underneath here. There's a, there's a charger down there or just space? No charger, just space. Okay. Um, Additionally, there is a tray here. There's no um, glove box. Okay. But I personally like you know, a beer or something. Just sure. Whatever it is, I like having the convenience there. Mm -hmm. Additionally, in the middle console right here, you have the uh, taco tray. 
which oh. people love. Actually, I had another customer. They were like, oh, that's the Chick-fil-A uh, tray. And so I love that they've regionalized <laughs> the uh, trays. Right. In Atlanta, it would be a Chick-fil-A tray. Right. Um, there's a lot of space down here as well as some um, charging as well. Okay, got a USB-C USB and USB-A. And USB -A. Okay. So, so people can go old school if they need to? Absolutely. Okay. And this folds where does this oh, come back? Yeah. And that pulls all right back down into the, you know, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little little party trick. I like that. The, the roof is a solar panel. Absolutely. Uh, do you know yes. offhand how much uh, how much power they can um, generate? Estimated 1,500 to 2,000 per year. So it's not 15, that 1,500 to 2,000 kilowatt hours? Um, sorry, uh, miles. Miles, really. miles of range. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like an impressive amount at the moment. Sure. However, in my opinion, like I have a gas car. Mm -hmm. I never get free gas, so it's right. like, <laughs> that's a couple sure. of tanks for sure. No, I, I like the idea of the solar panels, even if it doesn't really necessarily give you tons of range. I just wonder if you know how many like watts of energy it can feed you on a sunny day, like how much energy it can maximum feed into the system. I don't have the numbers per day. Okay. Um, I can find out the information for you afterwards and sure. let you know. Okay. Um, and then also the roof does go back. Uh, you can hold like slide all the way and it'll automatically go oh this whole section opens up yeah how far back does it i guess we'll Pretty see far. yeah okay so, it's like a like a sunroof right a typical moon exactly. roof kind of situation that's a lot so this is the edition one yes the launch that's the launch edition mm -hmm. and so it has so it's dual motor mm -hmm. it has is it op option do is this all the options is yeah. top spec all, of everything all the ones get all the options yeah. okay so this is as good as it gets basically yep. Absolutely. And I think they were saying inside uh, 360 miles of range? Yep. Around oh. that. It depends on like how you're driving. Sure. If you're always in hyper, then you're going to get less. Sure. Um, and the battery is 113 kilowatt hours, I believe you said? Somewhere around that. I don't know the exact okay. kilowatt hours no, no, of the battery, but yeah. No problem. Um, there's also additionally, I uh, I didn't even know the, the screen. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when you're driving, and you'll see later, um, it's super quiet. For right. Sunroof to be performed. Actually, I'd like to keep that closed if we can. Yeah, How do we do that? Just yeah. slide right here. There. Okay. And you hold, you hold it. Yeah. All right. And these lights on the side, are these like push on and off lights, or, or, or is it controlled by the sides here? Um, I believe it's controlled by the side buttons. Although I have never toggled those. I do know that the ones in the back, um, to operate those, you, there's like a swipe motion that okay. you can do. Mm -hmm. And then you, so swipe on and then like tap off. Okay. And this rear rear mirror is a camera, I yes. guess it looks like. Yeah. So that's connected to the camera on the back of the car. Um, customers actually like say that it's a uh, different, you have to get used to like the depth perception sure. because you're right there. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do want like a regular mirror, you can just. Okay. I was just going to ask if it switches back and forth. So I. Uh, can I adjust it this yeah, way? Because I'm not seeing. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, the window back there is. It's pretty small to look out, so it does make sense to use. Yeah. To use the. Um, I'm gonna just adjust my your side mirror as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. All right. So I'm gonna flip that back on. We also have some settings um, right here. You can toggle through and kind of just change the orientation of the camera mm -hmm. just you know for whatever this, this, this is back yeah that's dimming dimming okay and then you can press the middle button to toggle to the other options uh okay middle button i see so this is up and down oh that's interesting okay left and right and oh right okay Oh, here we go. Oh, so middle and then in and out or magnify, yeah, demagnify. The position, it's okay. like really zoomed in. Right. But, um, it, you know, you can go like super high. Right. Let's, we'll try that out for starters. Okay. Next. All right. Um, how familiar are you with the regenerative braking? Very. Okay. So um, in that case, we're going to just set you out on. Um, yeah, yeah, give, me, give me full regen if you can. Yeah. Full regen, high, low, medium, high. That's three right. settings. That's great. My Tesla Model 3 I drove here has only two. One of those is one, one pedal driving. So is this high? Is this one one pedal driving? Not basically? completely one pedal. Which okay. Is version 2.0. Um, I drove that yesterday. It is completely different. Um, okay. One pedal for sure. Okay. Um, but for this purposes, um, we don't have that on this one yet. I think it's coming today. At like, oh, it's five now. Okay. It could be coming any second. So but this is a, this is an update. So all Fisker. Mm -hmm. 
Fisker Oceans will have one pedal driving, real one pedal driving with the, with the latest software update. Absolutely. We're actively releasing that right now. Um, people are getting it pretty much every day. Okay. Um, but yeah, now we uh, should be pretty much ready to... And is this, the, this the, the driving modes? Where are those at driving here? Uh, so your driving mode is going to be on your right hand side, this button right there. Right here? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you can toggle through Earth, Fun, Fun. and Hyper. Okay. So Earth mode is going to be your basic economy. Um, in my opinion, I still think Earth mode has a lot of power. Okay. Um, it's mostly what everybody would need. Um, but if you want to be a little bit more fun, you can just toggle Go fun. fun. Uh -huh. And hyper is it's very quick. We're, we'll see, but it's, um, okay. it's very fast. We'll, we'll start on Earth for sure. just for fun. Well, right. <laughs> we'll, get the, we'll, yeah. we'll get the fun here. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so this screen, anything else we need to see on the screen? So we, we don't want audio today because right. copyright is yeah. a thing, yeah, problem with that. Sure. Uh, um, we have navigation right here. Okay. Um, so, you know, if you want, we don't have to punch in any coordinates, but I like to just be able to see the right. Yeah. It'd be kind of, can I pinch and make it smaller or use, use this here? I guess we use this. Will it pinch as well or not? Um, let's see. Let's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It does pinch. So that makes it's sense. It's kind of been touched all day, so it's been right. Really Slick, but yeah, it nice. feels a bit weird. It's got a screen protector on it. Yeah, it's got yeah. oh, it's got the really light screen protector on it, so it's really hard to tell what it would be like in exactly right. Okay, um, all right, so where should we um, navigate to? I would like to, I believe they are going to be blasting off any second, but if you feel comfortable going out of that way, if you're ready, maybe. Okay, and am I am I am I in drive? No, you're still in park right now. I'm in park. Right? And you can see all of those options right next to the uh, drive mode on your left side, back to the odometer. Yep. Left of the old. Well, I guess the entire thing. Okay, it's got 78 miles on it. This this uh, of range. Uh, 78 miles of range left on it. Yes. Okay, we're down to 27 percent. Where's the odometer at? Um, so currently, you're not able to see the um, like mile, total miles driven. That's something that's going to be coming with us over the next few days. Okay. Um, so currently, you're not able to see the um, like mile, total miles driven. That's something that's going to be coming with us over the next updates. Okay. All right. Um, it's nice, nice materials here on oh, yeah. on the dash. Absolutely. It's like I a, love, like just. I don't feel like I'm going to break the car. Like, right. It, I can touch everything. And it's it's pretty solid. I feel like I'm actually getting the money that's worth. Right. Okay, right. so to put it in drive, I just down on this side. Yes, sir. Gear shift air, okay. Gear shift air, car okay. cannot intend. I have no clue. We're going to just kind of. What's what's that do? This is I'm just with the key fob. To, um, lock it, unlock it. Okay. Start over Sh again. Sure. Um, let's see if we can shift again. Okay, so put on the brake. And down into drive, it's in the drive. Okay, so whatever that did, that worked. And we're still in earth mode. One of my favorite features that I just realized today was in the car. Okay. Um, if you are coming up on a stoplight, then it's gonna give you the notification see the status of the light red green yellow and it's like a simple thing but it's just really cool i didn't expect it to be there right so it feels kind of big i gotta say mm. i mean it's a big vehicle right 113 kilowatt hours that's a lot of battery so yeah and what was the regen oh, like so you can see on the screen it'll take your foot off the uh accelerator and the regen the brake lights come up because it's regening so that's kind of nice you can see that on the, on the screen mm, brake pedal feels a bit odd the first the first touch onto the brake is like i need to feel that again um all right so we're going this way until um until there's going to be a right turn at the exon and we're going to head towards the uh, interstate okay are we going to get on the interstate? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I want you to be able to use all the drive modes. Sure. Okay. Oh, that was the green light sound. Lane keep assist 
System unavailable, drive carefully. Okay, we will do. And that, that link, if it's this system that's unavailable, is that due to software updates or is that cameras? Yes, absolutely. Um, so, well, yes, the cameras are allowing us to like, you know, basically functionally do the link keep assist. Um, but as we're getting everything moved over to 2.0, we've been working out some of the kinks um, specifically like with those features and also the regenerative braking um, and the hold as well. The hill hold? Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't doesn't hill hold right now. No. Okay. It does not. So just keep your foot keep my foot on the brake, which I, I would do oh, I no. do anyway. <laughs> right. And we turn right in this yep. gear? Right here. Okay. And just checking on my lanes. We're good. It's got a very synthesized clicking sound. <laughs> I like I don't know, it feels like satisfying like a light switch. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Feeling for the accelerator calibration. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's it's a little soft, but it's in Earth mode. But it's, it seems it seemed to do fine. Um, had a decent enough feel to it. So this button here, no, it was this one that changed my mode. Yes. Right here. Okay. So we'll go to fun mode, and this. Do. Yeah, I can tell it's a bit more responsive now. Does that alter the regenerative braking feel at all? No. Okay. And do we stay here in this lane? Yes, we'll turn on to 407. Okay. I always like to describe it as like the um, drive mode gives you like how quickly you get to the acceleration. Because earth mode is still fairly fast. Um, it feels like, you know, the difference mainly is just how, you know, rapid that response is. Right, right. Which lane I'm here? Probably get in the left side. Well, yeah, you know, like for road rules. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, fun mode is uh, pretty quick actually. It's uh, pretty responsive. Oh, good. Just a little steering feel. Okay. So, uh, is there a steering mode in this? Oh, what, are we, what are we doing, dudes? Go, go ahead. You're in. You've got. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> got the right away. Um, are we going to be staying on this for a while? Or yes, I, we're going to be exiting at number uh, five and going towards Hammond. Exit five? Yes. Okay, so one, one mile. I'll stay here. Then. I was just feeling the... Uh, are there different steering modes? Like no, a sport, no, no, sport no. or... Okay. For right now, um, I've, in my experience, it's still really like stiff in the... Uh, even like in hyper mode, so it's not like it's wiggling about. Um, okay. I, I feel like it's... It's not quite as uh, direct as uh, some others. It's a bit soft, the steering. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a. Uh, and it's a bit light. And not a lot of feel, but that's modern modern electric racks. Or high, yeah, but not the, quite the same as the old ones. And you put the exit here. Exit. Okay. We'll we'll be going going towards so we're taking the right off of this exit. So we want to be on the right side. Okay. And I'm going to put it into hyper mode. And I'm going to give it some beans real quick if you don't mind. Right. Yeah. That's to the floor. Okay, it's not. It was starting to build up. I didn't want to leave my foot on it too long. So it's, uh, it was at this speed, at 70, it's a bit soft coming, you know, the surge of power. But then it, it does pick up as it, you know, as a little bit of time. It's like it got a slow roll on anyway from at that speed. I, I feel like it's probably going to be a lot nippier from a low speed. Oh, yeah, for sure. From lower speeds, it's like you get pushed back. Right, because I felt so that even in the fun, fun mode. Yeah. Okay. 
Do you know what this yellow line... Oh, that was maybe regen? Coming out. So as no. you're passing, like, other cars... Uh, it's oh, it's... It's, it's going to give you... Right. I Which I feel like is really cool. I like that... Sometimes I feel like cars can overwhelm you with, like, notifications and sounds and alerts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I like that, you know, if I'm just looking at the odometer, I so can kind right. of get a sense. Yep, towards Avenue. So there's no proximity, there is a proximity warning on the mirror as well? Yes, Okay. on both sides. Right, that's cool. But also on the screen. Yes. And so towards Abernathy. And also on this screen as well. So yes. to the so right. We'll stay in this lane or this lane. Okay, we'll get in the middle one. It's interesting getting used to this uh, camera, rear view mirror camera. Absolutely. That's good, we got a red light here. Okay, I, I use my brake to stop. Oh, right. So it doesn't have hill hold, but it also doesn't have creep, it doesn't seem like, right? No. So there's no creep, so if I take my foot off the brake, there's nobody behind me. So we do start to roll backwards. That's right. kind of neat. Oh, that's interesting. Right. Now, again, but that's, that's going away. Picture, yeah, right, that's like going to be... Another one is... And now, are these, are these updates going to be uh, over the air, like so for owners who are already out there in the, in the world? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, uh, they're constantly getting updates. Um, like I said, it's getting rolled out like in phases. So mm -hmm. uh, between usually a week and uh, three weeks is typically when everybody has it. Um, but it's also if you don't have it, then you could like go to the dealership. You can give us a call and we can get that pushed towards you. Okay. Got that green light notification. Oh, I can feel the. Uh, yeah, in hyper mode, taking taking off, you can. Just have to, if you get a feather that pedal, or you're gonna, you know, like okay. really snap people. <laughs> like, I just, it's super responsive at low speeds. Super quick off the line, I'm, I'm thinking. I got blast off for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stomp on it on the, on the green light, it's okay? Yeah. Okay, so hang on there, okay? I'm hanging on. <laughs> and I won't, I won't hold it. I won't stay in it very what long. What you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> so how long down this road are we going? Um, we can go three miles. Three miles, okay. Well, I won't be to the floor for three miles, that's for sure. Hopefully not. No, no. <laughs> Just uh, 100 feet or so. 100 feet or so. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. No, I need my license. <laughs> and don't, don't want to be in danger either. Okay. That's all I need to know. That's a, that's a really great takeoff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for a vehicle this size, I mean, you don't need any more than that. Do you know the 0 to 60 off the top of your head? Um, I know that Fun and Hyper are both sub 3 seconds. And I would like to say 2.9 and 2.6, but I'd have to okay. check on that. Right. Yeah, it felt like a 3.2 to me, approximately, just that little bit. Mm -hmm. but, but I didn't I didn't stay in it that long either, so... Just feel it. There's an Ionic 6 there on the left. ID4, all kinds of electric vehicles on the road here in Atlanta. Actually, we're in Roswell, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, I love the city because, you know, you, you're going to see everything that's new here first. Like, I've seen Fiskars okay. on the road. Right. And it's really cool because you know, point them out and be like, oh my god. And you don't have to turn up here. You can keep going straight for a little bit. Okay. Uh, right past the park. All right. Yeah, if I'm really late on the brake, it seems okay now. When I, The first time I, I touched it, it did feel like a little odd. Like the, So there's like a little bit of give and then it kind of bit. Bit in a little bit. Yeah, for sure. So it felt a little bit normal, but I'm also, you know, being super gentle as I approach the pedal. Mm -hmm. So it's feeling like normal to me now. So it could be a matter of, of me acclimating my own, you know, mm -hmm. fine, fine uh, motor movements to to work with the car. Oh yeah, especially because whatever car you drive daily is going to impact sure. heavily. Sure. Right. And right now that's a Tesla Model Three rear-wheel drive from from uh, a few years ago. Okay. This I like this area because it's like kind of a little more windy. Okay. So. Yeah. 
So, but it's a 35 mile limit, okay? So I'm starting to get a little bit more used to the size of the car and coming, kind of, coming out of the sedan, and, you know, and okay. sitting low for the last bunch of hours. You know, this is a whole different kind of beast. For sure. It does feel kind of beastly though, like large. So suspension wise, oh, the suspension feels pretty decent. Uh, is there a suspension settings on this? Oops. Not that I'm aware. I'm gonna put the uh, mode back to earth just because it's a, like this, at these slow speeds, any little extra movement, you know, you can, I'm jolting everybody around and it's like, no need. And it's easy to switch over to, to the change the mode really quickly anyway with this on your left left thumb. Right, so you can definitely, like if you need the extra speed for like passing or you know, right. accelerating you can, the interstate. But realistically, if you're going 35, 55 earth modes, everything that you need, you'll be making the right at this. Up -up. Okay, and uh, these are, these houses are money I'm betting. They absolutely are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, Buckhead and Roswell. Uh, Roswell, Dunwoody, there's like so many secret neighborhoods with yeah. uh, way too large houses. Right. But it's always fun to just kind of come in this area and explore, because also oh, yeah. it all looks the same, so it's just kind of, it's like the feeling of the map spawning as you go, so <laughs> you can kind of just get lost in it. Right. We haven't really impacted the uh, the battery too much. So all together, this I think I think they were saying it's a 360 a left turn at this. No, uh, not quite here. At the light. Oh, oh, all right, at the light. We haven't really impacted the the battery too much. We're at 71 miles of range, 24 percent right now, mm -hmm. and I feel like we started like with 72, three miles. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it was like 70. Yeah, it hasn't really changed a whole lot, so. But yeah, 360 miles, I, I actually seen saw somebody on a, a Facebook owners group. Mm -hmm. They had mentioned they were getting like 350 or whatever miles and they still had 10% left. And it's like, that's, that's very impressive actually. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, anything over 300 in a vehicle this big, of course it has the bigger battery, but you know, if that's what it takes, people want the range, yeah. you know. 100%. Especially because like just charging since it's slower than gas. Right. I can imagine not wanting to do that super often. Got a FedEx truck turning around up here. Is it backing in? Okay, he's backing in. Oh yeah, so in earth mode, taking off, you gotta put your foot into it. Just, uh, you know, it's not super sudden, which is probably more comfortable for a lot of people. And we're making a left up here. And a left up here at the light. And the region in Earth is nice. It's not too grabby, not in your head. Yeah. Man. Again, I personally cannot drive with the highest region setting because my car is old. Sure. Um, so it's like a whole new world. But also, I feel like after about 10, 20 minutes of like, you know, really working with it, you start getting used to it sure. as well. So like, right. Yeah, it's it's you have to teach your, teach your body, you know, how to manipulate the very fine movements absolutely but then that's also another thing um like coming from having a sports type vehicle mm -hmm. into this car i was expecting like 40 go sport or like you know uh, one of the older priuses just like no speed no get up and so i was really surprised i would say that this car is like pretty quick like relatively to sports cars right oh it is Definitely, yeah. so yeah, three, th three seconds zero to 60 is, is a ridiculous. You have to pay a lot of money in the gas world to get something that, that quick. Yeah, and then every second underneath, or sub second underneath that is like. Right. Center. So it's hard to tell exactly how this would be without the, the protector on it. Is it easy to spin that around again? Can you do it while you're driving or it has to be parked? Yeah, it has to be parked. Okay. That's okay, we can... Yeah, I feel like people would watch Netflix and drive. If given the option. Right. 
and do you know offhand so if your hand gets in the way while it's doing its spinny thing will it stop or any? I have no clue okay I'll put my hand in there <laughs> <laughs> no we should do that like with a banana or something the first time <laughs> yeah something probably that, <laughs> something you know that won't hurt this and then you know won't you won't have a trip to the doctor either and oh we're going to be up here on the right I guess yep okay I'm just recognizing this neighborhood. This looks like we're just around the turn here. Yep. As a Jiffy Lube? Not quite. Not quite. You have about a mile. Oh, okay. A little under. Okay. We just basically did a big circle. Yep. All right. Additionally, I'd uh, like to point out the cameras. You can also kind of get a feel for that while you're driving. What, is, what view is that? What view was that? Uh, that was the 360 view. You have the rear view. Uh, right okay. There. This move. Okay. And While I'm driving. Uh huh. I like uh, that. You have to be stopped for the you know, 360 view. I see. But okay. Also at like lower speeds, you will get like the side cameras. So uh, maneuvering around like the cones and whatnot. Um, I personally am too short. I can't see all the way over if I that will. So it was nice to like kind of. Right. I mean, it's the visibility over there is a bit tricky, especially if you're sitting in low in the mm -hmm. car. I put my seat up higher so I can kind of see that fender a little bit, but it's... Mm -hmm. And the turn is going to be coming up, not quite the next one, but you should see the Fisker signs up there. Oh, right. I do see the Fisker signs. And then right after this... Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. I always fly back. back park it where it was before yep anywhere uh, if you want to just pull up kind of anywhere it works that, that was a proximity sensor yes going off i would like to try to back it up actually yeah so it's right up like that yep and it's ready to go absolutely okay and while you are in, uh, reversing you can toggle between these cameras and kind of just give yourself uh, i don't know why you want to look forward but you know and then also this button over here is going to be the 360, or yeah, the surround. Okay. It's a little confusing. In sur uh, I can't tell what I'm doing, actually, in the surround. So these lines, mm -hmm. you can... Uh, okay, I see where we're going now. Yeah. Oops. No, yeah. I can't. There you go. <laughs> straight back, yeah. There we go. Okay, we can do that. I can see straight back. I think. For me, it's kind of like... I just want to double check... It, I know it says green light, it says I'm in, within the line, but I always like to double check with Absolutely. my side view. And we're pretty close to that side, and we just back a bit more. Yeah, and if you like had wanted to like line it up to, uh, using like the lines and whatnot, then it's always super convenient. And then so the cars... Press on that, it's yep. printed park. All right. We're in park now. Okay. And when you want to go to shut it off, okay. you're just going to hop out. Hit lock and you're done. Okay. Uh, does it doesn't have phone as a key right now? I'm sorry. Does it have phone as a key right now? No. Will it in oh, the future? I'm sorry. Do you mean like the NFC, um, like unlock and? Sure. Like, yes. So like you have your phone, you know, your phone acts as a key. So as you approach the vehicle, it unlocks. No, not quite. That is a feature that is coming. Okay. Um, we have the capability, the NFC chips, and we have it in our phones. So mm -hmm. that's something that we can do. Okay. All right, and this is the key fob. Pretty simple, unlock, oh, can, open. can I pop the back of this yeah, one? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll take a look at the back space here. You, it's most likely a press and hold. Press and hold. Ah, uh, okay, I see. And then <laughs> you see the- uh, Yeah, the camera. The, the, the rear mirror camera is shut up to the sky. That's great, <laughs> awesome. All right, well, thank you, Kai, yeah, I appreciate good. it. If you want to look around at this one a little bit more, then you feel free. Okay. I don't think, I think we should have a couple. All right, so here is the back of the Fisker Ocean. This little parcel shelf up in here is pretty nice. Slides back and slots into this nicely. Slots in there and slots. Moves forward, all right. And here's the floor, little subfloor, and up ahead you can see 
how that all folds and this folds up. Okay, so you can get into there. So your tire pressure thing, probably an adapter of some kind. What is this? Product qualified card, some fuses. It looks like a, man, I don't even know what this is. Bluetooth speaker? No, it's an, it's an adapter. Okay. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of adapter it is. Can you hold this camera for a second for me? All right, I just want to see what kind of adapter we have going on here. This comes off. That looks like a J1772 adapter from Ah, uh, wall plug, okay. So home charging AC plug. Okay, up in here. And this is some probably tire goo, I'm guessing. Maximum 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour. Right, so if you have a Tire seals. If you get a hole in your tire, but try to make it to the to a garage. Feels like a license plate holder, and uh, yeah. So that's about what you get for room. Not a ton, but a little bit. All right. All right. So Kay's just putting the the, the second row seats down. And we're going to do some measuring. And we've also noticed back here, of course, we have a uh, 120 volt outlet along with a 12 volt plug uh, outlet, I guess. That's sealed up. It's got some lights here. There's a couple little tie downs, which is kind of nice. And yeah, so we're going to uh, measure it for length because Kay plays the upright bass and she needs vehicle that can handle the whole thing so we're gonna measure the entire length so let's try just to the back of the back of the front seats yeah so that's uh, 70 inches okay 70 inches and how long is your base from headstock to uh, tail a little over 80 a little over 80 so the headstock would have to go up here yeah, so how far would it have to go to well, and it has to clear this thing too because this is not wide enough to fit the base. Okay. This is 26 inches. The base is uh, about 28. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So it would have to come in past this part here, up up in here? It would have to come past this. Uh, okay, so from here. Let's do it this way. Okay. Here. <laughs> right. So. Let me know when you're uh, 80 there. Okay, right there. Right there? Okay, bring it down. So, wow, okay. That's a no-go. That's uh, a... That's, won't fit. It seems like a base won't fit. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're in, in the Fisker Ocean again with Kate behind the wheel. And really quick before we get going, I just noticed this back here. This back seat's got this, its own little digital thing in the, in the fold down. In the third position with uh, temperature controls a little tiny touch screen here with a little off button we're going to fold that off for now and pay attention to what Kay's doing <laughs> okay we're good okay neutral so, neutral drive. drive and then up twice again would be reverse as well gotcha and uh, yeah that camera is super weird <laughs> yeah definitely take your time address the mirrors as you need okay yeah. and also the seat yeah i mean i'm i'm actually pretty comfortable with that the mirrors this is the mirrors here Okay. All right, we're ready to go when you are. And we're in earth mode. Yep, and you can just take it around the circle. And that's what I was uh, trying to show you guys earlier as you kind of come across like obstacles and mm -hmm. need a little bit more visibility at lower speeds, then that's pretty convenient.
Rick, pedal, pedal feel to you? Um, well, I felt like I needed to be closer to it or something. But I mean, I'm very com comfortable with my, you know, distance from everything, but it just, it felt like I had to push it down a whole lot more than I expected to, to stop. Okay. I think I've gotten used to regen <laughs> right. in your car and this doesn't feel the same. Like, yeah, it does slow down. Hmm. Does it feel big to you? Um, not really. Okay. No, I mean, the way I'm sitting in it, um, it's like I was talking about when I was driving the Model Y, you know, like I wanted to be, I like to have the steering wheel up kind of high, so I feel like I'm in a sports car. Uh, okay. You know, um, it makes me feel as if I'm sitting down lower. So even though I know I'm sitting up really high and it's, it's you know, a high vantage point, um, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel big. accelerates your feel in earth mode too. Um a little sluggish. Okay. You wanna try the next the fun fun mode? Fun mode. So your left or right hand or right this inside one. inside the yeah that symbol right there. It, yeah. Yeah push on it. And you toggle that and that'll take you to fun and then high mode. I see. And I'm turning here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how much you actually push. It's like a physical button. It's a that button. You don't realize that it's, a, that it's that. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it was a button or just a, a touch. It's a little, a little quicker in mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying about you just barely touch the accelerator in hyper mode and it goes. Right. Very sensitive. I guess we should consider too, at uh, 22%, do you know if, it's, if the uh, uh, acceleration field changes as the battery is higher or lower? It's not a feature, but just as a technology, I would assume it does. Um, right, like like in my Tesla, when it's fully charged, mm -hmm. I can. I mean, it's a lot quicker mm -hmm. than, than what oh, it yeah. is when it's like seventy or below. Again, like realistically, that's not something that we've ever discussed. Right. But okay. That's how batteries are. So I would right. imagine that that is the like broken scenario. It would take a little bit more time spent. Right. Because I think this is the lowest range. We're going, going towards Abernathy. Mm -hmm. This is the lowest range I've driven, or I guess been in, 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 while driven. So I guess we're going to explore it together. <laughs> okay. You, you haven't gone down 20% charge yet? Absolutely not. Okay. Actually, we're at 22% now. Is that what it says? Yeah. So you said the screen always is perpendicular like this when you're driving? Okay. So if you're stopped and you turn it the other way, well, can you drive with it the other way? No, it's gonna automatically turn around and back. Oh, uh, so when you're driving, it's always or vertical. Okay. That's interesting. But if you want to, if you're stopped, say, charging somewhere and you, you want to watch, can you, can we watch YouTube on this screen? 
Um, so I don't know if we have the platform YouTube specifically, okay. but I know that you know you would be able to watch content on the screen. Okay. There's an internet browser. I don't know. Okay, but I have a, like a list of things I can definitely check for you. Sure. And this is cruise control right here. Uh, yes. Okay. Following distance on the bottom of the cruise control. I would believe so, um, but I've never toggled that. So okay. if you want to try it out, let's go for it. Green light. It's like a very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the windy road. Windy road. All right. Okay, windy road number two. I guess the model three. There is a speed bump right there. Oh, is that? Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Dang. So, did you notice the, the brake feel any different to you now? If you've, you've been yeah. driving it for a bit. Yeah, I'm, I've gotten used to it. Okay, so it feels normal to you now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like the speed humps here. Yeah, people probably figured out it was a windy road. Or yeah. Ruined it. Yeah. Didn't want us having too much fun. Doggos. You know, I still, I, I like to the credit of the suspension, that it doesn't feel as bad or as tall as that speed bump is. Cause yeah. I know that I mean, some other vehicles that would have happened. It, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Those are some, these are some serious speed bumps. Yeah, like, they're, they're not kidding. Yeah. <clears throat> Lots of altitude. It's about four feet across the top. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like a tabletop. Yeah. It's well, all we'll fancy looking too, right? right? Yeah. The and, they're, and they're frequent, you know? Right, <laughs> right. They're like, they're like cobble, they got like cobble brick paving stones in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Fancy. fancy. Right, to your left. Take a left. Okay. Gonna eventually find this windy road. <laughs> it's like if I stumbled on it one time by accident and I never discovered it again, it might not even exist. <laughs> so you like the acceleration and fun? I like the fun mode. Yeah. Yeah. That feels the most natural. Okay. How do you find the region at this speed and in this mode? Okay. Um, still getting used to it. Okay. You know, that's why I, that's why we were like slowing down like this sometimes. I'm just a little like, abrupt sometimes. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Sure. If it makes you feel better, I can't tell. <laughs> Maybe we should have more confidence in ourselves. <laughs> All right. So we're back from driving the Fisker Ocean, <laughs> and we're standing in front of this lovely black example is lovely they have big wheels on them look at these things but uh yeah so let's start with a ride actually because you know big wheels sometimes have a, like a harsh ride so how would you think of what did you think of the suspension and i thought it was ride? smooth i thought it was pretty smooth really yeah um, i thought it was better than i expected it was better, it was than, better I than i expected right i expected with those big wheels in yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of uh, rubber sidewall on those on those tires, but not you know not huge, not like the old, back in the day at all, you know. So uh, considering all that, and we went over some huge uh, speed bumps, um, and and there were some rough roads on that on that interstate stretch of interstate. Yeah. Yeah. So and the, what about road noise inside or wind noise, road noise? It was quiet. It wasn't bad to me. I thought it was okay. It was acceptable. It wasn't like hushed tones, um, but I thought it was mm -hmm. decent enough, you know. Um, Performance-wise, like handling or acceleration. So we had it has three modes: three modes, earth, fun, fun and hyper. hyper. And uh, <laughs> I thought those were you know, pretty decent, actually. You know, the earth mode. It was a little softer. It wasn't. <clears throat> I don't really drive in, with a chill mode in a Tesla, so I'm, I can't really. Pair of the two, I should do that, I guess, when we leave here, just so I maybe... Just I to could, see, yeah. yeah. I thought it was a little too chill. It was, um, it was chill. Yeah. yeah. I, you had to really, you know, put a lot of intention into the accelerator to get it to go, it seemed. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, then fun mode. Fun mode was more fun. 
Yeah, fun mode yeah. was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, mm. I liked it a lot. And and hyper mode, I thought hyper mode is in in town. It might be even like too responsive. You That's know, what I thought. especially at low speed, you, you know, a lot of head jerking. Mm. You have to really calibrate your foot movement. Very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> right to to over but it, it's uh but it will hustle along i think you said it's got a three seconds zero to 60. i don't know what the official number is but it felt like down in that area like maybe 3.5 to me really but i didn't leave my foot into it for very long so i, I can't mm. say for sure but that's what it kind of felt like to me but you thought it was plenty of accelerations mm -hmm. yeah i did hit it pretty hard on the highway but we're also down to the low 20 percent uh, or mid 20 percent at that point mm -hmm. and 70 mile an hour didn't you know blow me away it, it was you know accelerating nicely but it wasn't like uh you know mind-blowing earth shattering any of those things <laughs> it was not uh so what else do we need to talk about uh steering feel it's fine nothing remarkable yeah. or surprising really it was a bit uh a lot it's a more comfortable it felt like you know comfort mode i think in the tesla or, just a little bit, uh, just a little bit less mm, direct. Easy, I think for most people, they'll find it, you know, very comfortable, easy to drive, not too jerky. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's calibrated well for this, for the type of vehicle that it is. Uh, the brake pedal, I felt it was a little weird at first. Like there was like a like a half inch of give before yeah. it kind of like yeah kicked in. Yeah, it surprised it kind of, me. It was kind of weird. It took a little getting used to. Yeah, but then later on in the mm -hmm. drive. It was fine. My foot seemed to adjust to whatever was going on with that, and mm -hmm. it was okay. So, and let's see what else. Uh, so features-wise, it's got. So this is like a loaded Fisker Ocean uh, one. So the one is the launch edition. It's got all all the options, um, but a lot of things aren't activated yet. So it seems to be let down by a software at this point, really. So there's like a lot of features. I can't even remember. Well. They're in the video you just, that you just watched, so you probably know, you probably remember. A lot of stuff has happened. A lot happened of stuff. <laughs> to us since, since then. So, yeah, I can't remember. There's, there were a number of, of software things that weren't there yet that you would expect to be there. Um, so it does feel a little rushed, in, but this has already been out on the, on the streets. People, The people's owners have had in the hands of owners for at least six months, I think they said, right? Mm -hmm. So some time. So, you know. Uh, and I've, I've looked at owners groups on Facebook and some owners are like the best car ever. Not a problem. It's great. Other owners are, <laughs> there's a lot of, does yours do this when you do this? Yeah. Kind of, kind of questions. A little quirky problems. Do your lights not turn off which, after you leave the vehicle? Uh, <laughs> things like that, or they stay on inside? Yeah, there are, you know, a few things like this, like glitchy software kind of questions mostly, but not not hardware stuff, which is good, really, because that's all fixable. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so like we were saying before, so Marcus Brownlee uh, had this video saying, kind of calling out as the worst vehicle he's ever driven. <laughs> so I've driven the VinFast <laughs> VF8 <laughs> prototype. Back when it was a prototype, I haven't driven the actual commercial thing, so I can't really compare what they have now to what I drove. But it, this is way better than that, at least, <laughs> I got to say. Because, yeah, that had some real issues. But, I mean, for, for driving along, I can see people, you know, owning this and driving it in town and not really having any problems, big problems. I'm not sure if there's any of those software things that I would really miss in day-to-day -day driving. Mm. Mm. I don't know. But it, it's, it's, not, it's not a total train wreck, you know? No, it's not bad. Right. <laughs> it's like, like I was expecting a bit of a train wreck, but it's not it's not like that at all. Uh, like mechanically, things seem okay. I mean, that, the brake issue aside, which I don't seem to sort itself up for me and for Kay. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, and then getting used to this, the size of it for me, I thought it was like when I first got into it, it's like kind of big. It's hard to see the, like the, the far corner, a bit, mm -hmm. even though I was sitting high. I'm kind of used to that. I, I drive a, right. You, know. you do have a crossover already, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, but that's about it. So I don't know. But my base won't fit, so oh. it's, it's a no go for me. 
Right, because it's mm -hmm. got that weird roof inside. Yeah, it's got it's it's like a narrow opening, you know. It's like right. kind of a short opening in, mm -hmm. in the back, and then it stays that way. It doesn't immediately just like curve up. Right. So yeah, base won't fit. Base won't fit. Oh well. <laughs> all right. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Ciao.